All right, let's continue on with cookies and candy. Um, in the Depression days, there was a lot of rationing. Now, you probably wonder, where does all that come from? We're in 2018, we're making Christmas treats. Um, why talk about the Depression? Um, because one of my family favorites is a little confection called potato candy, literally made from a potato. My mom came up in the Depression and due to rationing and limited quantities of anything, they had to get creative about what they could have around the holidays. So this is potato candy and I'll take you through the couple of the steps of it um, and we'll provide the recipe, don't worry. But basically you take a potato, you bake it till it's done, you take the peel off of it, and then we're going to combine the potato with confectionery sugar, a little vanilla. We're gonna make that into a dough, roll it out, spread some peanut butter on it, roll it up in a jelly roll fashion, and then slice it and allow it to set. The set utilizing the air around it gives it a little bit of a crust, allows it to harden up so that you can store it in airtight containers. All right, so here's our potato, and I'm basically just going to put it into my stand mixer. And this is where we're gonna be able to get that nice and smooth, and then we're gonna start adding the powdered sugar. I'm gonna pause this for a second because I really want you to take a look in there. Once you start adding the confectionery sugar to the potato, um, it literally will start to liquefy and then you're gonna keep adding confectionery, confectioner sugar until you get a dough. So this takes a time, uh, take your time, don't rush it, and then we'll be back. As you can see, it's all about the sugar. Um, this is one sort of small to medium potato, and you can see how much dough we're getting out of that. The object now is to take it from uh, that sort of semi-soft state and get it into a dough that we can actually roll out. So you're basically kneading it, similar to what you do with bread, um, just keep that powdered sugar at hand so as you work through this, um, you don't stick to your counter. All right, so you can see we have a nice soft dough. It's sturdy, but it's not to the point where you can't manipulate it. And the goal now is to get it nice and thin so we can spread it with peanut butter and roll it up jelly roll fashion. So it's gonna take a little bit. I'll keep working on this and I'll see you in a moment. All right, so it's time to put the peanut butter on. Looks like a lot, but I'm gonna work my way all the way around the dough, getting a nice even layer. If you do not have one of these wider spatulas in your kitchen, I highly recommend you get one. Uh, using a knife works, but it just ends up making the layer a little odd and a little thin. The other tool to get is a scraper. I like the metal ones, you can get plastic. But as you can see, with this type of dough, heavy sugar, really sticky, uh, you're gonna need to loosen things up as you go. The ends will start getting a little dry on you. Don't freak out about that. Just take your time. Just keep that roll going in jelly roll fashion. All the way to the end. And then I'll show you how to cut it. All right, as you can see, the jelly roll is ready to go. Um, I kind of play with it just to give it a little bit of structure and make sure that it's as tight as possible before starting to cut it. I did take off the ends. They tend to be dry and a little crinkly looking. That means you get a little taste uh, before everybody else does. So come on down and I'll show you how to cut it. Very simple. Um, I like to have mine to be about half inch slices. Honestly, this is such a rich treat. You're probably going to be lucky to get through one piece. Um, but it's really tasty. There's something really um, traditional and memory generating for our family every time we make this. So we hope you enjoy it. If you'll take a look here, you will see that those are now cut. They're drying out a bit. I'll probably leave them for about four hours in the air so that we can 
be able to package them up and either eat them or give them for gifts. I do keep this stored in an airtight container in the refrigerator and only bring it out when I'm ready to serve it. We hope you guys enjoy.